what life has thrown your way and how hard it is. You have so much to complain about. But I know as they're writing those down, as they're laying those down at the foot of the cross, as they're giving those over to Jesus and saying, God, I want you to help me with this, their perspective is changing. And they're going from that Eeyore friend to a friend that shines like a star. And then I think about even the sermons where in our church, and I know in Jason's church, and I'm sure in your churches as well, we're not just preaching this, uh, this message of you should feel guilty, you should feel guilty. Stop doing that, stop doing that. No, we're preaching about God's love and how he's walking alongside of you, making it possible to live this life, giving you a new vision of how to live this life, giving you a new perspective, and all of that comes together, and week by week, perspectives get changed, and then you go back to school, and all of a sudden, little by little, it changes back. But then you go back to church, and it changes it back to looking upwards towards God and, and having him lead you through life. But I'm telling you, if you're not involved in a church, the, neg the negative forces of this world is just going to drag you down, and you will never win a rap.